you know way more about real estate and the mortgage process than your client. Question is, do they know that? The reason I'm saying this is because oftentimes you'll get clients that will be fairly aggressive or assertive in their you know, statement of, hey, what's your rate? How quickly can you close? You know, I have another lender offer me this. What can you do? And the only way to get people who are so self-assured that they know all they need to know is to ask disruptive questions. And these disruptive questions will help open the client up to the idea that there's a lot they don't know that they really need to know. Good example, Mr. Client, you know, how much are you planning on putting down in this home? 20%. Do you mind asking where that number came from? Has any mortgage professional showed you a side-by-side -side comparison as to you know, the difference between 20% down and 19% down? No. If you're doing less than 20% down, has anyone showed you the different ways in which you can structure your mortgage insurance based upon how long you're gonna live in that property? No. What's your offer acceptance strategy to get your offer accepted? What does that mean? Right, the list goes on and on. If you don't have your own list of disruptive questions, Feel free to connect with us and use ours. I promise you, if you can use these disruptive questions, it's not meant to mislead the client or make them feel ineffective. It's essentially to get them to realize the person on the other end of this phone seems to know a lot more than I do and no other lender I've talked to has asked me these really important questions. I should probably hear them out and listen to what more they have to say because it's gonna help me and my family in the long run. So connect with us today. Let us help you understand what these 12 disruptive questions are and so much more that we're looking forward to helping you with.